So I know that I had originally put this on one of my bit shoot videos that nobody actually goes and watches for some reason, even though I put the links in other videos for people to go and watch. This information really needs to get out there. It's very important that this gets out there. However, I can't play it on YouTube because of the language in it. Obviously, there are certain words that aren't allowed to be spoken on YouTube. And so I'm forced to just screen record it and then place it in here like this without any audio, which kind of sucks because the audio is very much needed. So over top of this video, I have to record other things. First thing I want to say is the fact that I've been seeing a lot of different things going on and while some of it was literally started because of, um, well, the dawn of time basically, but what I'm trying to say is, hold on one second, I'm trying to find where I'm, yes, here we are, there we go. Okay, so we all know that Satan is the ruler of this world currently. That being said, Satan wants to be like God. Satan wants to be like God so much that he literally is trying to mimic God's omnipresence and complete control by his own inversions. Sorry about the interruption. I had a phone call. Now, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Satan is the ruler of this world right now with his principalities and his authority in, in high places, darkness in high places, whatever you want to call it. They are they are demons in high places. Anyway, that being said, I have been exposing evil since I've come to Christ last year. And it has been very difficult because of the censorship. Now, we all know that <laughs> we should have free speech, y'all. Like, I don't understand. We're not allowed to have an opinion anymore because some people think that opinions are swaying people away from the abomination well hello how about this just this past friday and saturday there was a huge event going on called astro world festival okay huge deal and you were only allowed in if you had your abomination you had a little bracelet proof of the fact that you've been abominable and so you walk through this big open gaping mouth of this dude right this big idol face go through there and then you step into this area and then you watch him come out of a satan portal on the state onto the stage anyway literally those people who were so-called having cardiac arrests wasn't because of overexcitement, y'all. It was quite literally a side effect of the abomination. But will they tell you that? No. And there was not just eight. There was hundreds. Hundreds. And of course they have to cover it up by saying something like, Oh, people were... In, uh." Giving people unknown substances that might have caused this. No, no, no. That didn't happen. That's what they want you to think so that you don't point the finger where it needs to be pointed, which is the abomination. So, I don't know what it's going to take. I mean, there's evidence all over the place. Like, even the people there were saying it was because of their abomination. They were literally saying, I'm never going to get another one. My kid took it. Now he was at this, this festival and now he's having side effects. Blah, 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 blah. I had to go pick him up. Like, I literally screen recorded these conversations and these comments and whatnot. And it'll be in the next one. Because this one way, is way too long and I can't add it in here as part of it because it'll be way too long. So I have to do 
two different videos. This one will be Saturdays, and then the next one will be Sundays. And so why am I talking about all this? So the stuff has been running around in my head all day. So the abomination, right? People are saying things like, it can't be this and it can't be that. And, it, and I've been trying to prove that it is what I say it is. And the only proof that I have is basically what researchers have already researched. Now, there's a part in a movie that I saw recently, thankfully. I believe God put that movie in my, in, in my, in my path so that I would have the words to say that I didn't have the words for. And so this movie explains exactly what and how they can literally uh, mutate and manipulate uh, genes and DNA to do whatever they want and even cause certain behaviors. When you watch these videos of what happened at that festival, everybody kept saying it's like they were in a trance. It's like they were possessed. It's like this and it's like that. Well, quite literally, they can do this now. They can manipulate your behavior through um, basically bio warfare. And, and it's, been, it's been out there for like years. People have been talking about it and it's been in movies. And people are like, oh, that's just sci-fi. Oh, it's just made up. It's fiction. You don't think that fiction comes from a little bit of truth? I, I mean, I've been de diving deep into this stuff for years since like 2004, uh, 2012, sorry, 2014 was when I stopped because I got so scared of what I was finding out. Now, there are ways to make zombies without making them like zombies, the way that we're conventional way of seeing a zombie is decaying flesh and whatnot, right? But there's ways to make a zombie without doing that. They're literally walking dead people like at that concert or whatever you want to call it, the festival. All those people getting triggered by some kind of what they want to say is frequency. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know too much about it. I used to be involved in all that new age crap, but that's what it was, new age crap. And I don't believe in that new age crap. But what I do believe in is the fact that somebody is using some kind of trigger to cause people to behave the way they want them to. And this has been developing for years. And so in the clip of the movie, that will be coming up pretty soon, um, she explains how people can do this using live viruses and I remember not too long ago somebody had shared a CIA tape of Bill Gates speaking at a briefing about how to cause people to behave in a way that they wanted them to by switching off certain parts of the brain using da 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 viruses and he said in this video that the best way to deliver it into the body would be through a respiratory virus because da -da 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 -da, our bodies aren't capable of fighting off something that's viral that goes right into the lungs Something that attacks the lungs isn't something that we can fight off very easily, our bodies. No matter how great your immune system is, our lungs are kind of like the what, the uh, chink in the chain or the weakest link or whatever you want to call it. But it's very difficult to fight off an infection that comes into your lungs. So that's why he said in the video that it would be the best way to deliver any vax. Uh, uh, I just said the word, whatever. Hopefully it doesn't get banned for that. But the only way, the best way to deliver the thing, the abomination would be through a live virus in a respiratory way. So it would be a respiratory virus like 
you know, H1N1, bird flu, you name it, they, they probably could develop a weapon for it and deliver it in a way that would be easy for a body to be easily susceptible to taking it on. And even she said in the, in the video, the, the movie, that that's the best way. That that would be the way that anybody who works in virology and gene therapy and, and knows these bi biologies would splice something and make it a virus that would hit the respiratory system because that's the easiest way to get it into the body. Now, the other way that they could do it is through injections, which they're doing now. And that is another very, very easy way to get it into the body. And the only way that they could do that is by finding um, a component that, or um, what did the word she use? She uses a certain word. Um, it's like, um, damn it, hold on. To make, um, to make sure that it gets into the body safely, it has to have some kind of, uh, I don't know how to say it, but like a delivery system, like a pill has a shell, right? So you have to pound it down into powder and then you have to case it inside of something and then deliver it into the body. Well, it's the same thing for a virus. You can't just inject the virus. It has to have some kind of solution to it. It has to have some kind of delivery system. So they use cells, other cells. For instance, with the first phase of this abomination, they used uh, HIV cells. And so they used that as the way of delivering it into the body safely because otherwise it would be unstable. They needed a stabilizer, so they used an HIV cell. In the second phase, which was this year, they used cancer cells. And that's why we're seeing a whole bunch of random cancer rising all of a sudden this year like even with our premier in british columbia he has throat cancer right now and lo and behold he's up to date on all of his abominations so <laughs> not a surprise to me that he's got some kind of cancer because that's what they use to deliver it into his body that was the solution it was in they're also they also have graphene oxide which has been proven thanks to carrie midday and um, also luciferase, which is a hydrogel, which has been proven, thanks again to Carrie Midday, who literally studied three different vials. So you can't say that this is a conspiracy theory. This was three different vials from three different states. How could three different vials from three different states and three different batches be a conspiracy theory? And apparently since then, they've done... A lot more vials than that and they've proven that this thing is in all of them um not just that but also there's some kind of conscious aware ai system going on in those same vials to the point where in one of them this thing literally lifted itself off of the um microscopic uh examining glass and was self-aware of what was happening and observing Carrie Midday at the same time as she was observing it. So to say that, <laughs> that this is just a conspiracy, it's not. Like it's filmed, it's proven, it's got lots of stuff. And I keep putting these videos on my bit shoot and I keep telling you guys to go and watch it. And then people are like, well, you put it on bit shoot, so your credibility just went down. Really, what does it matter which platform I use as long as it's allowing me to put the video up? And if you're refusing to see absolute irrefutable proof based off of a site name, then obviously you're not after the real truth and you just want to keep your delusion. And that's fine with me because whoever takes this thing is a reprobate anyway and they're beyond saving. And that doesn't mean that I don't have any compassion and I don't have any sympathy for people with their families that have done this. I have my whole entire family and Johnny's whole entire family has done the same thing. They've taken the abomination. And I'm sorry that they done this, but they 
they did it to themselves. Like we, we've told them what was going on and what it is. And they still did it anyway. So it's not, it's not our fault. They did this against advice, against proof. So that's, that's their fault. And all we can do is just mourn the fact that they done this to themselves and that now they're reprobate. That doesn't mean that we hate on them. That doesn't mean that we treat them differently. It doesn't mean that, we, that we're mean to them. No, I'm still very nice to my family. I'm still very compassionate and loving towards my family. I'm just simply saying that if you take it against the advice that I've given and all the proof that I've given and all the proof other countless people have done because I'm incapable of doing the things that they've done with videoing and all that stuff because I'm not very technologically you know, savvy. So I'm thankful for those who actually made the videos that put all of this into compilation and then delivered it in such a way. But the fact that I have given this information, I've showed this information, I've recorded this information, I've uploaded this information, I've distributed this information. And if you're going to just deny it because of whatever you want to believe, I don't care what you believe. But to deny truth, in fact, is so foolish. And if you want to be a reprobate, that's fine with me. That's your call, your free will, your choice. But don't get on my case for telling the truth. If you're convicted and you feel bad for what you did, good. I hope you feel bad for what you did. You shouldn't have ever taken this thing. And you shouldn't be giving it to any children either. And anybody who does give it to children should be charged with child abuse because it is child abuse. You're literally feeding them poison through their veins. You're sticking a demon in them through their veins. You're going to make sure that they're not even human anymore under the category of human because this thing literally changes DNA. So don't come at me and say that I'm wrong and I'm this and I'm that and whatever because it, it, you're not on the right side of this more moral compass at all. You're on like a whole nother plane of wrong, like 50 shades of wrong, 50 shades of holy hellfire wrong so anyway so um back to what i was saying so this has been rolling around in my head for the last two days and i didn't know how to put it together and and um explain it so i decided to just grab the videos which i can't use the audio of unfortunately and hopefully you guys would go and click on the link that I'm going to be putting in the description box to this one that's in the video, to the other ones that's going to be in the next video, and actually watch the things that I have for you to see. Because if you guys really, really want to find out what is happening and how this all ties into the Mark of the Beast and this whole entire astro world festival thing it is all related because this is a spiritual warfare right now the children of darkness are trying their best to take over the children of light and anyone who doesn't have the abomination in their system is the children of light and they're possible and it's possible for them to be saved and come to christ our light
I thought that was a nice break in the video, so I did that. Anyway, um, there's a chance for you guys to come to Christ, which is our light. Our light in the darkness. And it's it's very sad to me, and it's very disheartening, and it, and it grieves me in my spirit when I see somebody who's unsure, and then I give them the information, and they decide... No, the mainstream media is saying this, so I'm going to follow that. This is how we know the mainstream media is the false prophet. This is how we know who is literally parroting and repeating on repeat every single day, all day long, the signs and wonders, the miraculous miracles of this thing. Who? Who? Who is doing it? The mainstream media all day, every day. Oh, there's been 500 and something cases and 20 deaths. Oh, there's been this many cases and this many deaths. All day, every day for the last two freaking years. That means that the false prophet is the mainstream media. And who are they asking you to worship? The abomination of desolation. And who is being seated in the place of authority in every single person's mind? Who? The abomination from the beast system. Who is the Antichrist? The Antichrist is part of the beast system. He's here. He's in plain sight. He's working his signs and wonders right now. He will not be revealed until the second half of the tribulation, which is when he has his 42 months of ruling with, with like fierceness and he's going to overcome the saints at this point. He's going to be causing them to be beheaded for not worshiping him and his image. And because we had 42 months already to come to the truth, right? To his truth. We had 42 months to worship him and his, his mark and his image, which is the QR code. We had 42 months. And if we haven't by then, then it's, he's going to crack down in the, next, the last 42 months. And in the last 42 months is when the two witnesses rise up. So don't worry, guys. It's all coming to fruition. It's coming. I believe that this kick started in about March all around the world when it was declared. So that means that 42 months will hit about October, September, October 2023. That's when he should be coming out onto the world stage and declaring himself God and saying, I gave you 42 months to decide whether or not to follow me. You decided not to. So yeah, um, time to behead those who refuse and cut off everyone else from any services that they can get food from and anything else until they take it and until they bow down and worship the image which is a qr code i'm sorry guys but this is the truth and it, i don't care who believes me and who doesn't it doesn't matter at this point anymore what does matter is the fact that nobody's listening and i'll just keep saying it over and over again i'll just keep repeating it over and over again it is the abomination of desolation it is the mark of the beast. It's here. He's here. We're just waiting for him to reveal himself. And I know everybody's like, but this is what's supposed to happen. No, that's not what's supposed to happen. It's not in chronological order. You don't know what you're talking about because you're not in the spirit. You don't read in the spirit. You don't read your Bibles. You don't even consider that these false prophets out there claiming to be the shepherds of the, of the Lord here on earth to keep his flock on the right path are telling you to take it. If they're telling you to do something that isn't scripturally sound, we're supposed to follow Psalms 91. We're not even supposed to be putting any of this pharmacia in our body at all. None of it. We're supposed to believe in the Lord, trust in him with unwavering faith, and not be taking pharmacia. Nothing. We're not supposed to put any of that poison in our bodies at all. And then these preachers are telling us to do it. Oh, just follow the rules. This is the new normal. We're in this together. Build back better. 
slogans. Slogans, guys. And every single one of these slogans are satanic. Satanic spells. And I ain't having any of it. I have never taken a, f- a flu uh, abomination. And I won't need to take a flu abomination. Because I don't trust those abominations. Ever since what they did to me when I was going to college. And I had to take them for college in 2011. Before I knew the truth about them. And after that. I never took another one ever again. And I won't. Never again. Thankfully, I know exactly what's going on. And because I came to the Lord, I can't take them anyway because they have uh, the shedding of innocent blood in them. Which we know to be the sacrifice to Moloch or Baal. And if you don't know what that is, then I can't exactly say it because it's probably going to be the next thing that's censored on here. But just so you know... It's not your body and your choice when it's a different body growing in you. Therefore, murdering is shedding of innocent blood. No matter what you say, no matter how you try to bring the message and convey your feelings about it and try to virtue signal, it doesn't work because it's still murder at the end of the day. You're killing a life. You just squashed a life and a soul that could have been the next Jeremiah, the next Daniel, the next uh, Elijah. You don't know. And you decided to do that instead. Trust your own understanding, leaning on your own understanding instead of trusting in the Lord. That is Proverbs 3. So... Oh, I thought I muted this one. Sorry, guys. I thought I muted that one. I had to go mute it. Anyway, again, this is the mark of the beast. This is the abomination of desolation, and it will leave people desolate. And people are already desolate. They don't even know it yet. Just like when Saul disobeyed the Lord, and he got filled with all unrighteousness, and he tried to kill David, and he didn't even know that God wasn't walking with him anymore. He had no idea. He thought God was still with him because he was chosen to be the king of Israel. But as soon as he went against God and tried to kill his brother in uh, in Christ, guess what happened? He became desolate. God left him. And what happened to Saul? Saul ended up killing himself, didn't he? So that's exactly what's going to happen here. There's going to be a mass amount of people who are going to wake up one day and realize that God is not with them, and they're going to be very, 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 very depressed over it once they realize they did the wrong thing and that, that, that God's not with them. And then they're going to turn to anger, and that anger is going to turn into violence and every other unrighteous thing. This is exactly what Romans 1 warns us about. And so we're going to be watching it real time pretty soon. And y'all just don't even realize what's going on, do you? Just living your life, trolling online, hating people who believe differently than you. And you just want to say your peace and your way has to be the right way because that's the way the world is right now, right? There's only one truth. There's only one world. There's only one race. There's only one this. There's only one that. One, 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 one world order right? The true dystopia, right? Anyone looked at Dr. Boyd's blood work? Have they? I mean, that is the only thing that is going to make any sense here. His behavior was... Look, there there are projects in Sterison, defense projects that could explain why he did what he did. And people there are working on on behavioral design it's programmable behavior neural design do you do you understand what i'm telling you i think he was exposed to something at the lab i found it all the work at outcome all those tests the burn rates dosage panels tissue stress i mean that is us tuning chemistry 
We don't fabricate anything. That happens downstream. Wait, what's that mean downstream? It means you need live virus to seed adhesion. Cultures are highly reactive. You have to process on site, and we would never okay, do it here. Okay, on site where? Where? Where we hold the virus? Yes. Yeah, well, we can't drive there. Where is it? Manila. The Philippines. you're stable, you don't need to take greens. They locked it in. Any any physical enhancement is now permanent. So, so you infected me? When was this? When? Is this when I was sick? The mystery flu? That was you? Uh, well, it, it wasn't me. I didn't... That was you. It. That was on purpose, right? When I almost died... I'm sorry, but it wasn't me. Why am I still taking green pills then? I don't know. I, 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 I thought you'd stop. Why am I asking, why am I asking you? But to keep us on a leash, right? Is that it? To keep a hold on us? To keep us dependent? Who tells you that this is okay? No, I do. Who says it's okay? I do research. I design. I survey. I don't, I don't administer meds. I don't make policy the science. We were all there for, for science. And I know you don't care, but I made a huge sacrifice. I couldn't publish, I couldn't conference, I couldn't tell a single person what it was I did, but I thought I was, I thought I was helping my hey, country, and I Tell me you can viral off blues. Can you viral off blues? Theoretically, yes. Yeah. Pills allow for temporary adhesion Okay. To lock it in, you need yeah. live culture, live virus. You know how to do that. You know how to do that. Yes. Okay. Yes, but I told you it's on the other side of the planet. Yeah. Guess we'll go. Welcome to Washington. Welcome to the human body. You want to fix a mistake. You want to repair something, improve something. Well, if you're going to reprogram human genetic material, you need a delivery system, and nothing works better than virus. It's like a suitcase. You, 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 you pack in genetic mutation, infect the body, and the vector unloads into the target cells. Getting it where you want it, how you want it, is the nightmare. So, eventually, you guys will start to see the truth that all this time they've been weaponizing these. And it started way back in November of 2019. And that's when they decided it's time. He's coming soon. We have to be on board with whatever happens next. We have to listen. We have to obey. We have to bow down because he is what? The false god of this world Satan so they're following after their father the devil doing everything he asked them to do and yeah he probably gave them whatever they wanted out here on earth because that's what he tried to do to Jesus didn't he when Jesus was wandering in the wilderness for 40 days and he was hungry and thirsty and then the devil came and he tried to get him to sin to worship him and he what did he say the last thing he said to him was get thee behind me satan you will only serve the lord your god and no one else and that's what jesus said he'll never serve anyone but the lord god and that made satan very angry but yeah that's what happens. And as for me and my house, me and my house, we will follow the Lord. We will serve the Lord. We will preach the Lord. And that's the way it's going to be. That's how we're going to live our lives for the Lord. We're going to preach everything from the Bible. We're going to keep saying the truth over and over and over again. And one day we may be martyred for it. Because we're going to be like, 
Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and we won't be bowing down to no idol. We won't be bowing down to the religion of this world, which is science currently, and or the religion to come, world goodwill, right? For the common good, right? Don't you care about grandma? (laughs) What a way to try and play on people's emotions. Pretty good. I mean, peer pressure is... One sure way of getting people to step in the line, right? Shame, manipulation, intimidation, and then force, right? That is quite literally their way of doing things. One day, very, 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 very soon, they're going to start actively forcing us to do whatever they want us to do. And then we have to make a choice that day. Are we going to allow them to tell us what to do with our bodies? I mean, if the left wants to keep screaming, my body, my choice, why not make it my body, my choice about all medical uh, treatments, right? I mean... They want to say it all day long. And then when we say it, they say, oh, it's not for that. Well, then what, what's my bo- when is it my body and when is it my choice? When it doesn't harm someone else? Well, that's strange because you're harming another human being when you do it. Literally ripping them out of you and ending their life. So when is it okay to take a life and... When is it okay to make a choice for yourself? And by the way, can I ask a question? Because everybody said that if I didn't wear a mask and if I didn't get the abomination, I would have been dead within like, what was it? Like, I don't even know. They think that we're just going to drop dead, but we haven't. Then they want to say that we're the ones clogging up the healthcare system, but it's already been proven that if it's within the two weeks after you've already, you know, taken it, You're not considered fully vaccinated. Oh, what? So you could be up to date on all of them, but because it takes two weeks to be considered fully abominable, you're not considered that at the time if you die between the day one of taking it to day 14 when you're actively fully abominable now. So then you are considered unabominable, unmarked. Interesting. But mainstream media won't tell you that. No, they'll use words like unknown status. Oh, like, like, okay. So how do you know if it's an unknown status? I mean, aren't you checking records? Or are you just asking people, are you marked? Are you marked? Are you marked? Are you marked? And do they, what, what do they say? Do they say unmarked, fully marked, fully marked, fully marked, unmarked, and no comment? And then that's unknown? Is is that how it works? Or could it possibly just be them saying that so that you think unmarked? Right, And why is it always that the unknown statuses is higher than the fully marked? Why? Why is the number always higher? Because it's subliminal to make you think that they are unmarked. Ta-da! Signs and wonders! (laughs) Oh man, these people, they're just so predictable. That is, if you're not under their delusional spell of the great delusion. Just so you know, those who take the abomination will have this strong delusion because they have they are no longer walking with God. That means any faithful or so-called believers who take it, they are going to be under the strong delusion. That's the strong delusion that God brings to them. 
It isn't to the ones that are walking with him. It isn't to the ones that are unmarked. The strong delusion will be coming to those who are marked and think that they're walking with the Lord. That's where the strong delusion is. And they will believe all the lies, as the Bible says. Y'all better be picking up your Bibles because I've been talking biblical truth this whole time. And y'all want to tell me I don't know my Bible. But that's all I talk about is the Bible and all the truth in it. But hey, what do I know, right? I'm just some nutbag online who thinks that this is the mark of the beast and that this is the end. Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough, won't we? Just just be sure that you're not on the wrong side when you find out, right? Because if I'm wrong, I'm still on the right side. doesn't matter. But if you're wrong, odds are you'll be going to the second death. And I don't think that that is a great risk to be taken. I don't want to take that risk. I chose wisely. So I guess I'll check you on the next one. See you soon. Later for now.